Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to do ones. So one more than and one less than. And we're going to do this with numbers up to 10. So numbers up to 10. So let's have a look at our first example. What if you had the question, what is one more than five? So one more than five. How would you do this? Well, there's more than one way to do this. We're going to look at the two most common methods. The first one is simply counting. We start at the number we're going from, which is five. Let's write that here. And because we're doing more than, we're going to count forwards. So counting forwards from five. And how much are we going to count forwards? We're going to count forward by one. So what is the next number after five? That's right, it is six. That is our answer, six. Now, the other way to do this is if you have small numbers, such as numbers up to 10, you can use the number line. So let's draw the number line over here. Start from, and the number line is just a line with numbers, hence it's called a number line. And it can start from any number and end at any number that you wish. We're going to start from zero, and we're going to carry on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's do one more, ten. So that is our number line. Number line from zero to ten. So let's have a look at our question again. One more than five. What is one more than five? And now how we do this is, let's switch back to yellow, we're going to start at number 5, there it is, and because we're doing more than, we're going to go in this direction. We're going forwards, and we're going to go forward by 1. So let's do one jump forward. There we go, that's one jump forward. And the answer is 6, that's the same answer as we have here. So you can either count forwards or simply use the number line. Now let's look at the same question, but we're now going to do less than. So let's write it here. What is one less than? And let's do the same one. One less than five. So what is one less than five? Now the first method, we're going to do counting. So let's write down number five over here. And because that's the number we're starting from, and because we're doing less than, we are going backwards. And how much are we going back? We're going back by 1. So what number comes before 5? The number before 5 is 4. And that is our answer, 4. And that is correct. Now, shall we use a number line to do this as well? Well, again, we're starting from number 5. Here we go. We're starting from this number. So let's put a, a dot of here. There we go. And because we are doing less than, we are going to go in this direction. We are going backwards. How much are we going back? We're going back by 1. So let's do one jump backwards. So from 5, we're going to do one jump. There we go. That's one jump back. And what is the answer? It is 4. That is correct. So that is two methods of how to do more than and less than. And you can do this with small numbers. So we have now done more than and less than ones with numbers up to 10.